Well, as you know, the summertime heat is here and so is the need for air conditioning. And now the latest request from XL Energy to raise rates yet again has some Coloradans sweating. For the fifth time in the past five years, XL is proposing another electricity rate increase to the tune of $45 million. Denver 7's Jessica Porter has been listening in on the State Public Utilities Commission hearing tonight that's still going on. And Jessica, Coloradans are fed up with these rising utility prices, but this proposal is actually less than the one they were originally asking for. Yes, and the public comment didn't include a single person who supports the increase. Customers, they're fed up. They don't want any increases, despite negotiations with Excel to bring their request down by 85%. Now, Excel originally filed for a $312 million increase. After talks with state regulators and consumer advocates, Excel is now only asking for a $45 million increase. And I did some digging into what that increase would mean for your energy bill. It's about an increase of $1.50. 54 cents per month on average for households, but the Public Utilities Commission wants to double that increase to $93 million to account for Excel closing five coal power plants. Customers are concerned about skyrocketing utility bills, with some viewers reporting their bills doubled this winter. Excel saw a record $1.74 billion in profits last year and has asked for $726 million in yearly increases in the last 15 years. Policy advisors are sounding the alarm that Excel is only raising rates to guarantee investors a return. Now, the hearing on the rate increase continues. I'm going to gather some more of that public comment. You can watch my full story tonight on Denver 7 News at 10. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Jessica Porter, Denver 7. All right, Jess, we'll see you later tonight. Thank you. So I want to take an in-depth look here at these rate hikes. Now, negotiations around the current proposal started last year before Excel's natural gas rates nearly doubled. Well, the company caught heat from customers struggling to for those higher gas bills right in the middle of winter. And Denver 7 reported extensively on that outrage. I don't really want to think about it. You know, it's one of those things. Do I have a choice? Not really. So I have to just suck it up. It feels like they're just asking for more money when they already are making profits. This is my thermostat. During the night, I turn it down to 50. What would you want to say to Excel? Have a heart. Well, the Public Utilities Commission reported that in 2022, a typical XL customer saw a 25% increase in their electric bill and a 75% increase in their natural gas bill compared to the year before. And while energy bills climbed, well, so did XL's massive profits. XL brought in a net income of $1.74 billion last year, a nearly 9% increase from the year before. And last fall, we sat down with XL Colorado President Robert Kenny for a one on one discussion about that rate proposal. And Kenny said, despite the impact to customers, it's an unfortunate necessity to improve energy infrastructure for the entire state. Our customers come first and concern for our customers comes first. And we recognize that for some customers, um, this can be of a significant financial hardship. The other message I would want to deliver is that we are always striving to be prudent and good stewards of our customers' money. And we're making the investments that we think are necessary for safety and reliability. And while consumers saw price increases and Excel reporting massive profits, the company's top executives were taking home millions of dollars in bonuses each year. So going further in depth now, our Denver 7 investigative team found in 2021, former CEO Ben Falk was paid more than $12 million, including a $1.7 million bonus and $9 million in stock awards. That year, Falk was replaced by Bob Frenzel, who was president and chief operating officer, and he was paid $8.3 million after receiving a bonus worth more than his entire salary. So. You're wondering why does this matter? Well, the PUC's chief economist says Colorado customers pay half of Excel executive salaries through energy bills. The question of exactly how much they need compensation for is an absolutely legitimate question. There's always more room for improvement and this is definitely a good time for us to be pausing and saying, okay, what more can we do? Well, in a statement, statement to Denver 7 Excel says its executive compensation is directly tied to performance and in line, they say, with peer companies. And Colorado lawmakers are taking action to rein in these rising utility prices. In May, Governor Polis signed Senate Bill 291. It limits to uh, sp limits spikes in gas prices for customers. It requires transparency for electric and gas rate hikes, and it prevents utility companies from passing on expenses to customers for advertising, lobbying, and political contributions.